Hey, what's good? good evening, good evening, good evening, family. This is your boy, Pastor Santa Kamal. This is The Real Word, and we have our co-host, my brother, my man. What's up, y'all? This is your co-host, Ricard G. Noel. We welcome you to the 18th episode of the third season of The Real Word. Shout out to everybody that's been watching the show. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting. Shout out to all the people that watched last week's episode. And shout out to our special guest that was on last week's episode. Shout out to everybody that's just been supporting the movement. That subscribe to the YouTube, www.youtube.com backslash C for channel backslash The Real Word TV. That's youtube.com backslash The Real Word TV. Shout out to everybody following us on Instagram at The Real Word TV. That's at The Real Word TV on Instagram. And shout out to everyone that's just been watching and supporting the show. We thank you. We love you. But today we got two special guests. Introduce yourself. My name is Nakaa Fla. N A K A I F L Y. Nakaa Fla. My name's Alan. It's Alan. <laughs> so shout out to all the guests for coming in today, and we thank y'all all for watching. Um, today we got a very special episode since the Cop Five. You new to the show? Tell the people a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do, sir. Well, I'm a rapper. Well, I'm I'm an artist. I paint. I rap. I perform my music, and. I make my own music videos, so if y'all can subscribe to Nakai Fly on YouTube, that would be a blessing. And all my music is available on SoundCloud and all um, uh, music mediums. So what type of music do you do, Makai? I'm, I'm into hip hop. Uh, you could say conscious, but I, I don't put myself in a box. It's more like a, a mixture of everything. But it's, Core, my core thing is rap. And I'm guessing all the clothes you got on is, is made by yourself, right? Yeah, so I have on um, custom sneakers, custom jeans, and this t-shirt is made by me, Nakai Fly, which you can get on my website, nakaifly.nyc. Yeah, all my merchandise is available on nakaifly.nyc. I want to give you a shout out as well to my brother for um, buying um, my brand, buying my shirt. I really appreciate that need more brothers like you tremendously you know what i'm saying um that's how we basically met so i appreciate that man like just keep doing what you're doing my brother yo i i, I love that t-shirt no lie i wear that t-shirt a lot because people don't understand that they got to support it would be too late when somebody dies you know show your support before the funeral happens and and, and god forbid you know i i, I pray that i live a long 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 life but we don't know how, you know, life is, we take life for granted. And there's people that's out here right now that's on their grind that we should be supporting. And then there's people that's not here no more that was on their grind that we can't even support no more. Like R.I.P. My Bro, Playboy, Hollywood Play. Shout out to Hollywood Play. Shout out to all the fallen soldiers that we lost recently, man. Um, tell people a little about, about yourself. Um, my name is Alan. Um, I'm an optician, licensed optician. I've been doing that for some, some years now, uh, full time. I usually spend my time outside of work just doing a lot of fitness stuff. Been really paying close attention to that, just trying to preserve my body. Um, played a lot of sports when we were younger, so McCall would tell you we've been through a lot. So I guess the best thing you could do to kind of take care of yourself and your health and your mental health is just kind of like working out on the daily and take care of yourself because you are your biggest investment. Um, outside of that, I just try to keep myself level-headed, working hard, and just find a nice balance in between just having fun and, you know, staying focused. Balance, balance. That's a key word. Thank, thank, thank you. Facts, facts. So speaking of clothing line, there's a lot of different things that is going on in the media. One of the main things that we could say is recently the whole black face with the Gucci sweaters and then the black monkey on the side of the Prada bag. And we know last year H&M had the um, the coolest monkey in the jungle yeah. and yeah. it's basically a slap in the face because we know that the hip hop brand itself the hip hop culture they rep Gucci hard even <laughs> recently when Soulja Boy came out he had the Gucci headband right. then you see all the rappers jumping on the Gucci headband there's a there's a there's a rapper called Gucci Man you know yeah. and there's a song called Gu -Gu -Gu Gucci Bandana um, and there's so many songs named after Gucci, and it's basically them saying that we don't want y'all wearing our clothes. And this ain't nothing new. We know Ralph Lauren said it, Tommy Hilfiger said it, you know? And these couture brands, these high-end brands, they feel like the brand, the value of the brand goes down when Negroes wear it. No, they, they feel like 
y'all gonna buy it anyway, so we can do whatever we want. You know what I'm saying? They want you to buy it <laughs> at the end of the day because our we are the main consumers in in America, especially when it comes to clothes. We are the main consumers, so it's like a smack in the face. Like, yeah, you're gonna slip up, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you still gonna you know uh, buy my clothes after I disrespect you. I think they generally too just making a statement. Like a statement is if that yeah, like you said, they just don't want people to wear at this point in time. Like I don't know, like if I agree with you in the sense that they want to, they they think that we're degrading their clothing brand, um, and it's kind of hard to believe because I feel like the community, the rap community, has kind of like uplifted the name. If anything has made it to what it's supposed to be now, and like how it's viewed to now, and I guess we not really see how much power we have and how we can control that market if we were to step back from that in general. That's real. That's real. You know what's so crazy? My thing is that P. Diddy basically says that um, something very interesting the other day on, on his gram that we are culture, you know what I'm saying? Um, without our dollars, um, a lot of these brands wouldn't exist. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we definitely have the power to, you know, um, support our own. And, and, and I look for these entities that are constantly degrading us and, and, and looking down upon us, man. Shout out to Dapper Dan. He made sure that he made that statement. Like, I'm black before I'm a brand. And he's going to make sure they play hell. I, I hope that Dapper Dan takes it into his own hands and creates his own line. Because no, but, but Dapper Dan always had his own line. But yeah, and Gucci. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we need name? him to have his own line. Him, Dapper Dan, and forget Gucci. No, we don't need Gucci as a cosign yeah, or yeah, yeah. as the background brand to him. Or You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his facts. name is powerful enough to uphold like so much people will support Dapper Dan, you know what I'm saying, and, and and straying away from them and really making them pay for what they did. But at the end of the day, there's no really high end black brand. I guess you could the we only high end brand high we could say end. is Yeezy, maybe and Yeezy. Uh, probably Off White. Off White, okay. Off-white. But at, 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 look, look at still. look Chris Brown. He got um shout out to Chris Brown. He got um the Black Pyramid. Um, that's nah, that's it, big that's, too. That's big. That's, that's really it, big. It's getting bigger and bigger if we keep supporting it. Mind you, he's he's mostly the owner of it, so I'm not gonna say nothing about about that. But um, we can make our our own brands high end. It's up to us to do it. It's, I agree. it's our yeah. money that makes things high end. I agree. You know, if we wear, let's say in the car fly this t-shirt, everybody's buying this t-shirt. Everybody buying my headbands. Then it will become high end. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Add value to it. We add the value. Nobody else, the consumers, does that. You know, it's funny. The community will find like an issue with paying expensive amount of money for like a street brand, opposed to like spending a crazy amount of money on like a, a foreign or exported brand. They might tell themselves like, "Oh, why am I spend like five hundred dollars for a T-shirt and it's made by someone like me?" Opposed to thinking that when they buying like five hundred dollars shirts from like Gucci, Prada, and so forth. So I think that's the biggest issue in the community itself. Is trying to find like a way to justify that price tag because once the community themselves makes that price tag that's high end, they're gonna be like, You're not really making it for your people while you have it priced so high. At the I same agree. time, you're going and spending all this money on like these high end brands, so it's like kind of conflicting. It's like we really have to think about those arguments that we create and really look at like the situation in the whole because we're like contradicting ourselves when we say, like, Yo, We're not gonna spend all this money on so and such and such brand, but if it was someone else's brand, we'll pay like an arm and a leg it's crazy but black's been hypocrites for a long time yeah. that's the truth man i feel like a street brand shouldn't start off as 500 dollars anyway you know what i'm saying it's baby steps and then you what are you trying to do you trying to rob your people at the end who are you you got to look at who are you selling to you know what i'm saying are we we can sell to the world but let's get somewhere first don't start off at you know get your own store get a couple stores just how these other people do and then we can do what they do. You know what I'm saying? In I terms agree. of price. Mm-hmm. Don't possible. sit there and, and, and then off the rip want to charge five. That's what these people do. And that's why our businesses always fail. Because who are you selling to? Our consumers are, don't have that much money. But they do when it comes to certain things. But it's like, all right, boom. If you first start off, like, boom, this t-shirt, I would have, like, it's, it's in the quality, right? So when you first start off, you're not trying to spend a whole bunch of money into quality so that way... Your shit lasts. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's your stuff lasts. And and um, as opposed to other brands, they can spend certain. They can find different places so that they stuff lasts longer. 
That's real. So what makes high end high end? Just the quality makes it high end. Honestly, from what I hear, a lot of high end brands they use garbage material. It's just the label that makes it expensive. And what's even more crazy is I heard Burberry did this recently, where once their clothes was out of season, they threw the clothes away. That way, they say that it, it keeps the brand luxury because it never goes on sale. Because you see how they got stores like Nordstrom Rack and yeah, yeah. Macy's <laughs> Off Rack and stuff like that. They, they, they don't want certain clothes in there. That, 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 that Basically, they don't want poor people wearing That's certain crazy. brands so that poor people could look like the rich people. So wow. they just throw it away. That's crazy. So that's what it really is. Wow. That's crazy. And justify it through the price tag. And that might be something that, you know, because I guess if it is high end, you wouldn't want to just see anyone wearing at the same time. Mm -hmm. But I guess what image are you really trying to portray? Because you think the only association with money is up to specific races that could be within anyone, you know? <laughs> but that's what they want to do, though. Say, yeah. say that last one again. Well, they, usually they try to associate high end with specific races wearing the garments, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're not going to consider it high end if you just see walk down the street and... You know, you go into the corner, so you see somebody wearing that high-end brand. It kind of degrades it in their eyes. So maybe that's well, why they're pulling that, like, images out so they could just very have Very rich people wearing. that wear, like, you know what I'm saying, just like how T.I. was like, yo, I spent all this money with y'all. He's rich, right? There's a lot of different rich people. They don't, it's it's not about race when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to them. It's, I mean, when it comes to, it's about race when it comes to them. Like, it don't matter how much money we get in this world, in this place that we live in. That we are still subject to the same racism that the people at the bottom are subject to. We can, we can't move into certain areas if you don't matter how much money we got. We cannot move into certain areas. And if you do, they don't want you there. Right. They'll make sure you leave. <laughs> and then the cops work with them so that way they is they're justified in whatever they do to you. They're related to the cops in those instances. Mm -hmm. it's crazy. That's their family. Yeah, it's crazy. So. Um, a lot of people are saying that they're not going to throw their Gucci away, but they're not going to wear it. I feel like that's about the same. I mean, me, ironically, <laughs> I'm on a Gucci belt right now. <laughs> only because it was the only black belt I had in my closet. That's not fair. But I don't know, man. I feel like with us as people of color, I feel like we're oftentimes segregated to certain things because we as ourselves have been elevated ourselves. As in, if we don't wear these brands, what are we going to wear? Yes, there's black brands to wear. I'm not going to say that there's not, but... There's so much other things to wear. All right. Yeah. The thing I always realize about black people is we wear a lot of name brands because we feel like our name don't mean nothing. I, I want to say that. Yeah, I agree, I bro. Yeah. If like, you can work on your own last name, make sure that you're, you got power behind... Because money, at the end of the day, is power, right? And... and we can't be too caught up on the clothes thing because we can find out, like, there's so many different black brands that does clothes, but I'm we can't get example, too right? caught up on the clothes thing. I'm going to give an example, right? Master P, he had the P. Miller Master shoes, P. the P. Miller clothes, and he used to wear the P. Miller all day, him and his mm -hmm. son. But how much people in your hood you seen wearing P. Miller? Not many. It doesn't matter. The thing is that I've noticed this, listen, I've noticed that any entrepreneur who's, who's going against the grain, we don't really support them Absolutely. and really give them credit huh. as they deserve. So like Master P, you know what I'm saying? But Master P, at the end of the day, his bank account is larger. You know what I'm saying? What? So, so but at the end of the day, okay. it don't matter. You feel me? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, guys like Akon, too, you know, who does a lot yeah. for the community yeah. as well, too. Like, we don't really magnify as much as we should do. Like, for example, like, perfect per example, right? I was talking about this the other day. I, I posted on, um, I'm not like a fan of Dr. Umar, Dr. Umar Johnson, you feel mm -hmm. me? But, you know what I'm saying, you got to give credit when credit is due in regards to, you know, he says he's going to get to school. You know, you know I think he should have been a little bit more transparent. It took him like four years. He got the school. He got the school. He got the school. That's what's up. That's what's up. Congratulations. Shout out to Umar Johnson. He, he just needs um, um, additional funding to um, to renovate the school, but he has a school and everything like that. Uh, that's what's up. So, you know what I'm saying, I was, I was telling For people. For a minute, I thought he was robbing us. No, I understand, right. and I think, and I think that that's why you know you should have been a little bit more transparent. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And let people know exactly right. what's going on and everything like that. So, um, pretty much, you know, um, you know, I, I posted congratulations, and you know, people in the bottom, and my mm -hmm. comments like, you know, he's a fraud, blah blah blah. And I had to post the video. I'm like, listen, you know, you don't have to agree with everything. You know what right. I'm saying? This things that, that Louis Farrakhan say that I don't agree with. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But I got to give him credit in regards to how he's always. 
promoting his people. He's always, you know what I'm saying, making sure that his people's eating and everything like that. You feel me? And mm-hmm. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we can be our own hindrance. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, you see a brother, he's, he's making strides or she's making strides. Mm-hmm. And because you may have something against them, you feel me, that you may not like, you're right. stopping them from what they need to do. Right, right, right. And I don't believe that we should be doing that. Doing so that. We, 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 we yeah, can disagree, you know. If I'm yeah, not feeling you, yeah, I'm exactly. gonna. If I'm not feeling you, I'm gonna remove myself from you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 let's talk. Where you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Or like, where, where that's where we gotta be more on some you know like let's let's rec- let's talk to each other behind closed doors and not in front of the yeah, whole yeah, world. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like and, we should and, never, and, as and, black and, people, and, be and, and that's how. So and, that, and that's when that's what happened to Doctor Umar Johnson mm-hmm. and them. Which was very, um, bad and everything like that. But I think, like, you know, what I'm saying, I feel like we we hinder each other, and I think yeah. we should hinder each other. You know, yeah, if you're not yeah, yeah. a person, you don't have to put them on blast. You can move, move yourself in the situation, but, but at the same time, we could, we we could, we, we, we by us supporting each mm-hmm. other, by us building each other, it, it could make a lot of difference. You right. have to say something, brother. I'm sorry. I was I was just gonna say I don't think like. I don't want to generalize and say like the whole culture is hindering each other. I think just no, like the negativity. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we do support each other. I think yeah. I we do support each other. I we think do support it, each other. Mm-hmm. T- typically, it comes down to like a lot of competition and like fear based like yeah. maneuvers. Like people mm-hmm. like will not like yeah. to like rule or support someone else because that Everybody fear see someone else's competition. Other. Yeah, exactly. And that like, is what keeps us down because we're like less likely to support one another because you see someone doing something that you should be doing or you seeing that and that yeah. puts like a a negative thought in your mind like yo that means i'm not doing i don't want to see this person make it and that can kind of take like tie back to like that whole slavery mentality of seeing like you know some people in the field some people in the houses and just seeing like this hierarchy and status that some black people were accepted and some black people weren't so when they see people on a larger platform and they see someone being accepted it's almost like it creates this like hatred sometimes but not from a mass it just tends to be like the negativity tends to make more noise than like the positivity like someone who thinks more good would be more inclined to like just say oh, that's what's up but you're not really broadcasting it as much as someone who sees the negative and just going to leave a comment in social media it's kind of like a platform for negativity whereas like positivity isn't really spread around on a consistent basis which makes it really difficult to even one find confidence in making your plans work and achieve because you see how much people view it and be like oh Right, why is this person trying to do that X Y Z? You know what I'm saying? So it yeah. creates that. Man, well, well I, I I I love what I saw this past weekend in regards to um, the the Rockefeller brunch. Oh, that was awesome. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I love right. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Brothers definitely. coming together, supporting each other, building each other, encouraging each other. Um, you know what I'm saying? Laying aside um, um, their prides and their egos, and listen, let's let's get this money. And I and I really love that. You know what I'm saying? I love what yeah. Meek doing. I love what Drake is doing. I love what um, my man Nipsey Hussle is doing. Shout you know, man, man, my man Casanova. My man Casanova is on a different type of timing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's definitely a goon, robbing people and everything like that. <laughs> but um, now he was about, you know, it's about his work. You feel me? In the bush, but you know, turned that and was like, you know, just grateful. You you see a lot of elevation. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I was I was here. Now I'm here. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know. And the thing is that, like, I'm a rapper. He said, I'm a rapper. I'm, 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 he said, I'm more than just a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I got God blessings, you know, on me, right. and because I got God's blessing on me, I have to be I have to be more accountable and more responsible. You know what I'm saying? And giving back and Absolutely. making a difference and everything like and that. And he don't want to like he touching the bag. He in Africa and back. Yeah, he's yeah. He not trying to go back to jail. Yeah, he now he's done. He's done. Down to nobody's level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So shout out to him. Shout out to Casanova in the sense that, um, at one point, six nine was trying to pull him into the into the nonsense and he oh, yeah, ducked yeah, that yeah. one and he was like yo i'm not going back to jail i just i'm just now spending time with my daughter and my wife i'm not trying to play that hand so he was smart in regards to that and we see who came out on top you know yeah, he's, at, he's at he's at you the know, brunch and six nine in jail and six nine snitched in regards to that yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's, that's real speaking of speaking of drake um drake at the grammys basically dissed the grammys because, you know, the last few years he hasn't been showing up. And this year he showed up and he was like, yo. The, he basically said the Grammys is a waste of time. It's a, it's, it's a bunch of elitists t- t- telling people whose music is good. Isn't at the right, end of the day, right, right. as long as the people feel good about your music, if someone's coming out of the rain or out the snow and they listen to your music and makes you feel good, that's the only thing that matters. That if matters. you're selling out 
shows and you making money, that's the only thing that matters. You taking care of your family is the only thing that matters. People telling you, how, other people telling you how good your music is, don't count. And mm -hmm. basically, Drake had a woke moment. Yeah, he and did. They, and, it cut so, his, and it cut his mic off. I don't need this. They cut his mic off. I didn't catch I didn't, I didn't yeah, even watch they, the Grammys, yeah, to be they, honest. They, well, let me tell you something. For a very long time, there's always been beef between hip hop and the Grammys. Yeah. There's always, the, there was, there's always <clears throat> been that kind of situation. But it's just, Who runs the Grammys? It's like the same people that do the Gucci thing. Funny, because they, really, <laughs> they don't really recognize like that music in like. I mean, a few rappers and got their Grammys and more Facts. nominations, but they never Facts. really get the accolades that they needed. And my girl was showing me some with like Post Malone. I never really noticed before, but like you know how he kind of like he had hits. Yeah, he had mad hits. Oh, but that's... then when he was on that platform, he didn't really play the hits that he had. He played more something conform to that audience. You know what I'm saying? And that was the funny part about but it. You don't have to. That... Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> play what made you famous. What made you look at her. Look at her. She's a prime example. Shout out to her, she got two so, so Grammys. Is her? Her is the, is I, I the, is the her, right? boot up? Hmm? I didn't cut you off, right? No, you didn't. I'm talking about her. Her is the R&B singer, she just got she two did, Grammys. Fo focus on me, focus, focus on me. She has a song with uh, Daniel Caesar. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay She has okay. a lot of great songs. You know what I'm saying? Her name is Daniel Lewis. Mm. Yeah, boot up. She, she won a Grammy last night, too, so shout out to LMA. Yeah, right, 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 shout out to LMA. Like I said, I think the problem is, I'm going to be honest with you, and I have to refute what Shaka Khan said. Is it Shaka Khan or somebody? He said, that is not, um, there's not good music. That's a lot, bro. That's what Shaka bro, Khan said? He said there's no talent. There's no talent. That's, That's a lot, bro, bro. Recently? Listen. Yeah, recently, bro, bro. If you go to Google, listen, bro. If you go to Google Play, bro, and you type, like, um, the playlist, like, R&B um, playlist of Nat, bro, there's so much, there's so much great R&B artists, bro. It's... Mm -hmm ridiculous bro like there's a lot of there's a lot of amazing um pop artists there's a lot of great rappers bro yeah, that are yeah, nice yeah. And, and, and they're not doing the mumble at all bro and i feel like yeah i don't um, mumble. i feel like rapper. i feel like um <laughs> there's um you know there's there's an agenda like for example um my man punch said this you know what i'm saying like you know they're oh, trying to shout keep, out to punch yeah they're trying to keep funk master flex because that's who they want, you feel mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. So they could, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a, a lot of yeah. Negro. They said he's been in the same job for twenty years. There's a lot of there's a lot of politics. There's a lot of politics, you feel man. me? So at the end of the day, there's a lot of great, great, great artists, you know what I'm saying, that are out there and that needs to be celebrated. And I, that's why that's why for me, you know what I'm saying, I, I do my part, you know, to to push it on the gram, to push it on on the book and everything like that. Like my son Toby, son from Houston, nice bro. Toby? Yeah, boy. Toby is an animal. He he just performed um, last year at um, the BET Award Cypher and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of good good artists that are actually you know um, eccentric, authentic, different, not conforming and, and about it. Like for example, you see the situation with um, J Cole. Mm -hmm. So like you know Word. they always like say, oh wow, is he gonna do it again? Like yeah, like you yeah, know yeah, is yeah. he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do it again? Like. You know, no features. Pretty consistent. You know what I'm saying? Too. Very consistent. Stay true to who he is. Yep. So, there's a, the, 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 like I said, we just we, we as the audience, we just have to do our part in regards to promoting and, 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 and supporting and letting people know, listen, this is what I like. This is mm -hmm. what I'm about. And not being it, afraid to exactly, say, this is and, what I like. Exactly. This is who and, I am. And, and, and if, and if, if 5,000 people who have 5,000 friends <laughs> post that person's video. Exactly. Oh, that, that right there can make something happen. Exactly. A shout out to Cardi B. She made history. Oh, last I'm happy night. for her. Yeah. First, first, first R&B. First, um, female. female uh, um, um, so when best rap album. A rap album, yeah. That's a good album. And shout out to her. Um, you know, we got to give a, a credit to a couple of people. You know, who really made um her who she is. Um, we got to give a shout out to Little Kim. Got to give a shout out to um Foxy Brown. Got to give a shout out to Queen mm -hmm. Pen. You know, Queen Pen, right? Queen Pen. No. Shout out to what's we her know name? Queen Pen. She 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 made the song. Is a party and a party and a brand. What with um with um with um Lost Boys? Mm. What is back in the day? You know, I, yeah, this is my day. This my day. Put me on school. I'm I'm doing. I mean, I, I, I was I wasn't up. rapping to the time of Biggie. Okay. So okay, that's okay. that's my era. You feel right. me? So um, gotta give shout out to her. Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Shout out to Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj too. What's um? But you know, but she be hating a lot. So I be peeping that too. Oh, shout that's out to Remy Ma. Remy Ma, she doing her thing. I appreciate her. You know what I'm saying? MC like uh, my homegirl Queen Latifah. Of course. Yeah, she also said that MC you know Light. we we need a lot of female female rappers. We don't we don't need, we don't need just two three. We need like Shout 10, out to Lauren 15. Hill, even though Lauren she's not rapping no more. Lauren we Hill's need more Lawrence in the world, you know, like oh, in bro, terms of there. mindset mindset. They're there. Um there's an artist, um 
that Timberland has. Um, what's her name again? Oh my God. All she's, they want to do is show us. She's nice. Girls. She nice. She's like she's like a Lauryn Hill too. She's nice though. Mm. She but we also she rap a singer. Yeah, she rap a singer. <laughs> Take yeah, take oh, yeah, nice. yeah, 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 she's nice, she's nice, she's nice. She's nice. I haven't heard her in a while. Yeah, yeah, but she's nice. Stuff. She hasn't released, I don't think she hasn't released some new stuff, but I think she, I know she's nice. Yeah. Right. And we also see that Cardi B is back with Offset, so yeah. that's a good look. I mean, you know, gotta keep the black families together. That's a fact. Um, a big noticeable absence was Childish Gambino with that one album of the year. I'm and proud a couple of him. other ones where he didn't yeah. show I'm up. I'm proud of him. But he was basically saying, like, like, that was the ultimate slap in your face. I know I'm winning, but I'm not going to show up because I know what you guys stand for. Therefore, I'm not going to party. Yeah. I'm not going to play in your circus to be just another clown. Yeah, there's, there's a spiritual warfare that's going on, man, in regards to guys controlling their own and having their own. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think that's why a lot of artists, they go independent, like Young M.A. And, and um, is, 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 um, what's this guy's name again? Um, that dude from the Bronx. He's not independent, right? A, a boogie? Yeah, is he independent? Nah, he, no, 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 no. He's, he's probably trying to get out of his deal right no, now. No, no. <laughs> I think they have a partnership with Atlantic, but he signs a high bridge, the label, which is an independent company, but they get distribution through Atlantic, so it's like a partnership. Okay, okay. Well, with the way music is now, you really don't need to rely on having like a no, major deal because it's like know. direct consumerism right yeah, now in terms of like social Absolutely. media and streaming and yeah. having that like, YouTube. That's what I love about this day and age right yeah. now. Yeah. Direct consumer, you could go outside and and you could really talk to your fans. If, if like your up and coming artists, you could go outside and really sell your your, your music outside. Yeah. You know, he's been number one for oh, a while on now. The internet. Oh, on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he's, he's amazing. amazing. He's he's fire, yeah. Shout out to Bugsy yeah, yeah. Boogie. He um put out this this album called Everything for Sale. That that album is super duper fire. I don't know if you ever heard of Boogie. What y'all think about Joy Villa? She's basically the woman that wore the dress that looked like a wall, and the back of the dress says "Build wow. the Wall," and she had a purse that says "She's an Uncle Tom, bro." That's crazy. A black woman. Mm. Uncle Tom is sad. I try to disconnect all <laughs> social work and stuff Ooh. like this. Yeah, it's her crazy. name is Joy. It's sad. Joy Villa. It's sad. It's sad. And, 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 and I'm not saying that you know you can't um you can't be a Republican, you know what I'm saying? Because the Republicans, you know, they have good standards like my man um, wow. John Kasich. You feel me? I'm not a Republican. Get over, but, you know what I'm man. saying? But there's, you know, there's Republicans. A lot of the Democrats is out here wilding on the black people too. Fact, facts, facts. Like yeah. that girl Alexandria Osio Cortez. I'm not How you like for her. her. I'm not for her. What's that? All. She sat there and go say like she she does a lot of backpedaling and she's. She, she thinks so. Yes, and she she said. I'm a Latino, and then it's gonna try to speak on black issues. No, you're a Latino. Stay over there, like. They, and then what we gotta do is stop. We're not minorities, yeah, and they they use minority to get us to not um, benefit from the stuff that they uh, they we're owed a lot in this country. Black people, we we are owed a lot, and the they use they minority can... to make sure that we don't get what's owed to us. They make a, they make sure everybody else gets. If we're getting something, everybody else gotta get. How? We the ones that built this country. Real, anything that you can name, remotes, like what? We did that, and other people come and they, or, or they, they get on our backs. You know what I'm saying? We hold them up on our backs and on the type of revolution that we, that revolution that we did. You know what I'm saying? We are looked at, all right, black people are looked at just how America is looked at. The, sorry, the yeah. captains of the world. Yeah. We like looked at as the captains of the world, like America. You know, everybody in the world looks at America. So black people, they look at us like, oh, what are they doing? You know what I'm saying? And then we we fought so much different things, mind you. I give credit to Haiti. Haiti is the first revolution, but we kept that shit going, kept it going, in 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 different continents and different. You know, there's if it wasn't for us, a lot of people wouldn't be able to live the life that they living right now in and, and, and and America. Suffer for that. What you saying? I said, yeah, they yeah. made us suffer for that yeah, for, for, for years. Yeah. They made like, us yeah, suffer, still but still why? Suffer. So why are we still? If we're if we suffered, right, and we're still suffering for that, why? If they're trying to give us something that everybody else has to get it, if they didn't suffer like we have suffered, or still not suffering. Basically, you know basically, they said that blacks were better off when there was segregation because when there was segregation, then it was I more agree. black. It was more black business owners. Blacks had their own <laughs> communities. The rich blacks stayed with the what poor blacks, which help to circulate the, the dollar longer within the black com com communities. We have Black Wall Street, and we consolidated our wealth better. Now that 
there's inclusion where everyone is mixed together. We see other races come into our neighborhoods, get loans from our banks, and open up businesses in our neighborhood that we don't benefit from. And then we suffer from it. And then when blacks get money, they move out of the black neighborhoods and into the rich neighborhoods or the middle class white neighborhoods, and they take the wealth with them. And they don't come back to the hood. They don't open up no businesses in the hood. They don't rent any houses in the, in the hood. They stay far away from the hood because they're part of the bourgeoisie now. Right, but the government, right? We can all right, let's say that happens. Boom, we get our money, we move out the hood, whatever the case may be. The government is in charge of who gets what in terms of if they if like benefits. Stuff like I like, I don't wanna say like benefits, but like benefits, right. So if if I Gay people have. Oh man, I don't even want to. No, no, that's, no, the damn boys are black. Yeah, basically, but, but basically, any, any time, any time they bring up black people and what we deserve, they bring in gay people, they bring in Latino people, they bring in Arab people, they bring in all these other people. No res- disrespect to y'all, but we are the ones that deserve a lot of this shit because we Bro, actually, we Bro, actually listen, paved listen, the way listen, and listen. actually are still getting killed on the street and getting. We're still getting killed on the street and getting taken to jail f- for stuff that we didn't do. That's a fact. But they consolidated. And they're justified in it. That's a fact. This was the problem. They consolidated civil rights. So civil rights at one point were just for blacks. As in civil rights means that blacks needed civil rights. It's just like how later on we came with the Black Lives Matter. They came back with All Lives Matter. And people was like, no, All Lives won't matter. We didn't come up with Black Lives Matter. <laughs> you know, there's certain things know, that are funded by these people. So Just understand what I'm saying. Just understand what I'm saying. I'm talking about more so. I'm talking more so about the idea mm-hmm. that they they are saying that that all lives won't matter until Black Lives Matter. So, right. but then they said all lives matter. It's like every time we put something out, they put something out to deter it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the thing is, during the presidency of Barack Obama, who was the same color as us, he gave more rights to the Spanish and, and the people. LGBTQ yeah. community than, than than people of his own color because the agenda of the people what that people was behind him. him. But the thing is, we gotta look at it this way. This is this this is no longer our country. I can't say this is not our country because we was here first, but this is no longer our country. You know, it was originally Turtle Island, and we was the colored indigenous people of Turtle Island, the Black Niji, whatever. But everyone came from Africa, as in like the map is upside down. Africa is on top, and all the European countries are at the bottom. But because of global white superiority and racism, they turned the map upside down, so now it looks like Africa is all at the bottom. How could Africa be at the bottom when all life came from Africa? That's Simple true. stuff like that. But let me finish. We as colored people or African Americans or blacks or indigenous people or whatever you want to call yourselves, mm-hmm. we lack a backing because we disassociated ourselves with Africa and that's where we fall back. That's facts. If you look at the Jews, right? If you disrespect the Jew right now, they got the backing of Israel. And we know that America itself back up Israel. Mm-hmm. Other Europeans, we were talking about clothes earlier, right? Gucci's from Italy. Mm-hmm. We know the Italians in America, even though the Italians and the Sicilians and the mobsters and all of them, they, they talk about a nation uh, America, them. and they go to America, they commit crimes, they don't care because they got Sicily and they got Italy behind them. We even know that they were part of Mussolini that did a lot of horrible crimes. Mm-hmm. We look at the Asians. The Asians, they got Asia. I mean, they have China, they got Japan, and they have that high culture that they even mm-hmm. bring in America that they keep with us them. But once us blacks come to America, we dissociate ourselves with our culture. Even blacks, black Americans, they try to disassociate themselves with black immigrants. They, they say, okay, um, you're a foreigner. And then we call them Yankees. So we separating ourselves, right? And But then all the whites consolidated all the whites under just whites. But then we divide ourselves amongst each other and we found so much. You know what? The difference is to divide us right. to the point where we have no backing with ourselves. You know, how can the United States unify themselves, but Africa can't have the United States of Africa or the, the United Nations of Africa? Africans dissociated themselves with us as well. Africans be like, oh, uh, uh, you know, Africans we don't treat, so, no, 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 we no, no, they them. sent us here. What do you mean? I'm, I, I'm not even going to get on that, that, that type of tip. Listen, y'all Africans, y'all have, uh, if, when y'all want to decide to make it so that we have a dual citizenship, then we could talk, but now, right now, in Who's this country, who's stopping you from getting a dual citizenship with any country in Africa? Who's stopping you right now? The Africans. They don't see you as, a, they don't see you as African. 
You don't understand. I don't understand. Like, there's a whole lot of Africans that do not like Black Americans and that shit on Black Americans. Be careful, bro. <laughs> you you can't you can't say that because at one point there was a Back to Africa movement and it was and it was Black Africans that was in America that went back to Africa and they started their own nation in Africa. I think so, like uh, where we from now. I think people are more tied into like. Their, their countries that they come from in terms of the Caribbean, like Haiti, Jamaica, Brazil, people are old. I mean, not, not Brazil, like, you know, like Barbados, like, even down to, like, the parade, it becomes this competition of, like, who did it be- best or who did it this, that, and the third. Right. Instead of people being like, oh, this was a great parade, it becomes a competition amongst everyone in the culture it's supposed to be celebrating, like, this unity. Yeah. It becomes mm-hmm. a competition. So it's a, it's, it's a classic take on that. Like, we talking about going back to Africa. I, I think, like, our relatives, they send money and stuff like that to, like, Haiti and, like, whatever country you come from all the time. They send them nice. things. So I think they do support their homeland. They do remember that. It just depends on, like, what you think that's supposed to derive from. Is it supposed to derive from where your ancestors come or supposed to derive back so, all the way to the African slavery? I've had to school a whole lot of Africans on their history and, and on uh, on where what we did in America. Like, and I've had and, and there's I've there's a whole lot of Africans that feel like black Americans are not a part of them. And if it wasn't for like yo, shout out to Tariq Nasheed. If it wasn't for a like a lot of these documentaries that help I cause we were always, you know, disassociating ourselves and I love I love shout out to my Africans. I have a whole lot of African friends. That's how I know like their mother was like <laughs> I have a, like that's how I know they they disassociate the, the, themselves from Black Americans and Tariq Nasheed. If it wasn't for the Hidden Colors series, and right. I I I really put a lot. I I bought all three of them. Well, it's four now. But I all bought and when I was in college, I bought all three of them and I was, I watched it and I gave everybody like yo here, take this one, bring it back. I'll give you the next one and I opened up so many different people's minds onto what we did. <laughs> And and he's a black American, so and is he does a there's a lot of us. It's not it's not just him. It's a lot of black Americans that still to this day do a lot, and we still are getting can't curse on him, but we get disrespected by these other people, and 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 looked down upon but as if we're we not do? doing things. But what are we doing? Yeah, but what are we doing to fix that? We are developing the whole mindset that, hold on, if it wasn't for Black is Beautiful, James Brown, where James Brown come from? We, we, we set the standards that's of not, all of that stuff. That's not what I'm saying. Education see, right. is key. Listen, brother. I'm going to break it down. Easy. Something that's right in front of your face. Back in the 1980s and 1970s, the gays and the lesbians was looked at as the new age nigga. I'm going to say that, right? They found ways, they found ways at one time, they were they were they were killed, they were abused, they, they were, were shunned, and they were treated like us to a certain extent. I they, can say they were. And what did they do? Wait, wait, wait! Just let me finish because we let right, you right, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what did they do? They lobbied. They got politicians involved. They started their own nonprofit organizations. They came together and they did it by state by state by state by company by company by company. They they started becoming CEOs of companies. They started buying out companies. They started putting their people in Hollywood and all these big industries to the point where they were able to have power now. Now they could lobby for certain politicians that's going to go for their goals and their agendas. And that's how they took power and that's how they got laws put in. And that's how they're at the top. That's how they beat us. Because they did the they did the money way. Because we do live in a capitalist society, which is called America. America is a business. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not fair. It's not about fair. It's about money. You can't compare gays to black people. You have gay people did. that are that are already rich, that have come from a line of wealth. White people, there's a whole bunch of different people that are gay. So yeah, their causes are gonna get pushed before ahead of ours because of what white supremacy is. But that's and what I was this, just telling you. You just said it yourself. They come from lines of money, and their money is used to push their agenda. So we need to do the same thing. That's a fact. Like, I think a lot, a lot of what you say is like after a while, 
it can't come from like an excuse of saying like we are the victim because we had a point in time where we can stop being the victim. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Like if we take action, if we are like being more savvy with the way we spend our money, if we looking to invest the both to just rent and for, and, like, and then have a damn like lease on the car or like just use that money towards something good. Just as a prime example of like how we just talked about Gucci, but you hear nine times out of ten a lot of people will still wear Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. They'll hear the thing and they'll, they'll choose to be ignorant once it's time to take action. And you can't really just be like, excuse, excuse, excuse without taking any action because nothing's really going to change. So really, really, like what you're saying, like, if we really do want to make a difference, yeah, we in America, we need money. So we need to stop being dumb and like really be critical of how we spend our dollar. Right. Like, okay, if you think that you need to indulge every time you get paid and then check the check, you need to start to pay yourself first. You need to be the first thing that you pay is yourself then you could be paying your mm -hmm. debts and you could be paying mm -hmm. your bills mm -hmm. and things like that because at the end of the day them people are going to find their ways to get their money anyway so you might as well be making sure that you're taking care of yourself before you're mm -hmm. taking care of any one of these big companies because if you're not really putting that money in yourself when it's time to make a move who you got to ask you got to get a loan from who yeah. so that makes focus, no sense uh, to add on to that to focus in the energy to focus in the money into politicians that's really going to do something and make a result not just Oh, oh, he's black, and and like Obama, Obama did nothing for us. He could, there's a lot of people that died under Obama, black people that died, and he didn't go out and say anything about that. We have to put in our money into people that is gonna bring the results. We have right putting our you money said, into that. If we get money in our community first, yeah. then we can start to breed the kids that could potentially become presidents one day. Because all these That's former far politicians, far but you know now. what? It's too far ahead of time, and there's a reason why it hasn't happened yet. You know, it's also saying? happened right away, bro. Yeah, like Everything not. takes time. You got to be consistent with it. We got to start from the ground up. We can't be on welfare getting paid by the man and then still expecting the man to change our lifestyle. That doesn't make sense. We have to make the change ourselves by educating ourselves and getting degrees or starting businesses and owning things. That's how, that's how the Jews did it. They bought everything up. Now that they own almost all the real estate in New York, Thomas. they have power. They have lobbying power. They organize. They have their own police, their own paramedics. They have their own system of government within a government, and they haven't lost their identity within the government and at Jews all. Are still on welfare. They, okay, and, and, and they're smart yeah, about but, but, but it. They're scamming the system. system. Right, okay. right, now, right, now, right, now, right. I'm breaking it down for you. I'm, right. I'm, break, I'm breaking the whole right. thing down to you. Right. They get married within their own their own churches, their own synagogue, That's right? Facts. And because they respect their they respect their religion, they respect their wives, they don't need the government to give them a piece of paper to enforce their marriage because they're able to do it on their own. Mm -hmm. They're able to police their own people because their people respect their laws. That's in the Torah, which means they don't have to go above or beyond the laws of the state. They, they police their own people. They take care of their own people. My person mess up, I'm going to take care of it. I don't need to go to the next right, person right, 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 to right. bring them before a magistrate that sits on a that sits with a pencil and all black will have a half cup of water to judge me because I could do it myself. Mm -hmm. We as black people, it's hard for us to do that because we don't respect each other and we don't respect ourselves. Absolutely. Okay? My wife, if, if I'm Jewish and I'm married in the Jewish church by, by a rabbi before God, I don't got to worry about a piece of paper. I'm not going to go back and cheat on her. And if I do, that's between me and my God that I'm going to have to pay the repercussions. But because I'm married with my wife, my whole community knows that's my wife. Mm -hmm. And they respect that, so I don't need a piece of paper from the government. But my wife can still go and get benefits from the state and mm -hmm. from the government, and I can still own property, and we're going to mm -hmm. live up in this for the benefit of my family See? and my community. Mm -hmm. We're still going right, to eat, right, right. and all my people are going to eat. I could own the bus company and fill that bus with my sisters, cousins, aunts, mm -hmm. and I drive the bus that I own the company for to the welfare office to get my people welfare and help my right, people right, out. Right. We can't do that. We don't own no bus companies, bro. Right. We don't. We don't own no buildings. We, we get, don't. Yeah, it's true. But now so, when we get close, so, so we shit, not like, gonna, we're segregation not gonna, we're not happens blame and they make us that. whoa. But that whenever we get close to owning our own shit, they step in and make that's it feel lie. like that's not, that's what? When we that's had, what happened? Lie. What, what happened? What lie. happened when we had our own Negro leagues? We what sold we, out. We, we sold out. <laughs> all the black, all the black Negroes went to the MLB. They not forced them to go. They went willingly yeah. because they paid more money. Yeah. And when they could find they cheaper people, they went to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and got cheaper players. That's a fact. And you can't Look. say we can't own nothing out there because my parents own two houses. I my, never said that my, we can't own nothing. Listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, you did. You said we don't own nothing out nothing. 
I, I never said my wife own look, nothing. Listen, my wife's mother was a single mother, and she bought a house in Park Slope that she owned. And when she died, she passed it on to her daughters. Right. His mom owns a house that she's gonna probably pass on to her sons when they pass when did away. When I said we ain't, I ain't, we ain't own nothing. A few minutes ago, you I said never we said we don't own anything. So what did you say? I said. That's like what 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 statement did I say that said I didn't we don't own nothing? When did I say we don't own anything? You said that we don't own anything because every time we own something we sell out. That's what you said. And they take it away. And I let me because I didn't mean we don't own anything. There's a whole lot of we own a lot. (laughs) We we own a lot. In terms of and and when we don't when we when we start to own something in terms of I this is what we're gonna do for us. They step in and say it's wrong, like like they make us feel like it's bad. Ow. Like we gotta be for everybody. Ow. Just for instance, I'm gonna give an example. LeBron James just opened up a school in Cleveland. He don't he, own that school, bro. okay? He own that school. He owns that school. He, he owns, provides he provides them with housing. He does not with own bus the, the education and in, in, in the 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 curriculum and that like what goes into curriculum. But the curriculum so, is so controlled that's by curriculum the state. Is but he owns we, the building. So Dr. Omar Johnson, right? He owns that curriculum. When he developed his school, you don't own like a curriculum. That, you create he's a curriculum. He's gonna be able. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so All strange. right. So, but, but 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 go back to the, the things that LeBron does own that school though. He's the one that started that school with a couple of other investors. I'm gonna give you he, for example. That's not my son. Own. My son goes to Success Academy. They have their own. Cur- they have to follow the Board of Education curriculum to get funding, but they can run their school according to how they want to. Yeah, it's possible, bro. And, and, so, and Success Academy was started by a Jewish woman. Yeah, bro. I respect we, charter schools. But at the end of the day, but go back to what he said. What before we have frozen thoughts, the thing is that we can own. Use the mic, bro. And I said so, that. I never said that we no, can't no, own. No, no, no. I, I, understand, I never said I'm that. I'm talking about general things that we, as a people, we can own. Right. That's all we're saying. We can own. And, and I agree with that. I never said that we can't own anything. Never. And when we watch the playback, we'll see. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> all right, say no more. I'm all about black ownership. It's like I support black businesses all the fucking time. Bro, bro. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chris, say no more. All right, with that being said, let's, let's have closing thoughts. Appreciate you. Um, like I said, man, we want to thank everybody for watching tonight. Um, like I said, man, just go for your dreams. That's what I got to say, man. Go for your dreams. Right. You? You, my brother? Hey, yo. I appreciate everybody in this room. Much respect. And thank you for having me. It was I had a good time here. I didn't expect, you know, to to have this. You know, a lot of the conversations that we had, but I, this was actually a I great interview. Same here. Thank you guys for like bringing me up on this show and just to speak on the topic that we spoke about. Just being more financially savvy because at the end of the day, like Ricard said, if we really want to make a difference, we got to start bringing this money in house and using it within our community. And a lot of people like us have this mindset, but we don't got the money yet. But once we have the money, I'm sure we can make positive things happen. So let's just all try to like band together and make something good happen, you know? Amen, amen. Basically, I would just ask for a call to arms because consolidation is key and it's possible. A perfect example I could use is my church. We started off as as the Laodice Church. We only had 25 to 30 people. We merged with Friends of Jesus. That gave us about... I would say about 80 people. Then we merged again with three other churches, and now we have over 200 people. And now the church is making about, I would say, 30 to 40,000 a month. So that's a perfect example where a group of black people came together, they put their pride aside, they put the names of their churches aside, became one name under one church, and then they grew up as, as five churches that came together as one church, they consolidated. Now they're able to fix up the church. They're able to provide programs. They're able to provide help. They've worked together with the real word to, to help people in the community. And that's a perfect example of people of color coming together to help other people of color for the benefit of one goal versus to multiple individual goals. And that's what the real word is all, is all about. People from the different walks of life, two hands putting together, watching the other in order to help the community and help the people. And this is what this platform is for, where we could come together and speak about these things. Um, these are things that do give off a lot of emotion, but things that have to be spoken about. And we have to speak about it in a logical and calm manner so that it can Absolutely. transcend and to meet the people so that they can understand it, you know? Because there's people that don't know about this that's going on, you know? So when we speak about it, then we can help and we can grow. So Santa's close out with a prayer. 
Father, we thank you for what you're about to do through us and for us, Lord. Help us to be more unified. Help us to be more together. Help us to realize, Lord, that um, there is power in unity. Keep us and ground us in your presence. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next week. Good night, y'all.